Hi, my name is Jack. I also work in the Biosign Lab. It's a plant biology lab, if you just couldn't tell from Julian's presentation. Um, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about our project on the RNA-directed DNA methylation pathway, or RDDM for short. Basically, it's an epigenetic silencing pathway um, during the early endosperm development of plants that shuts down gene transcription. So, we're studying this pathway um, because of the future implications it could have on crop production and crop efficiency. Um, a majority of the calories that we eat, eat every day come from plants, um, and more specifically come from the endosperm of most plants, uh, which is the nutritive tissue that surrounds the embryo. Um, the endosperm is also where we get most of our uh, starches and carbohydrates um, from plants that we eat. Some examples of those plants where we eat the endosperm, uh, rice, wheat, and corn, so it's pretty common. Um, here's the pathway itself. Um, I won't go into the specifics of it too much, um, but basically it's important to know that it makes small RNAs. Um, on, the, on the left side here, it make, makes small RNAs, and on the right side, it's basically like a targeting system um, to target certain genes for methylation to shut down transcription. And this is all happening during early endosperm development of plants, and we're not really sure why. So our project involves knocking out two of the vital proteins for this pathway in three different species um, in order to determine what the function of this pathway is and to measure uh, the effects on seed development. Um, so a little bit of background on plants and the three species we'll be using for this experiment. Um, plants can differ in breeding system or in genome size. Um, they can be inbreeders, so a single plant can self-fertilize on its own. Um, they can be outcrossers, so two plants are required for fertilization. Um, they can be diploid like us, where they have a single genome, um, or they can be polyploid, where they have multiple subgenomes. So, based on um, preliminary data and based on the mechanism of the pathway, we hypothesize that our DPM is either mediating conflict between genetic material from uh, mom and dad, or mediating conflict between genetic material um, from the multiple subgenomes within the same plant. Or maybe it's doing both. We, that's what we're trying to find out. Um, so we do have some early results um, from small sample sizes. The official data collection is going to take place in a month or so, so that's exciting. Um, but our first species on the top there an inbreeder and a diploid. Overall, it showed a 20% decrease in seed production after knocking out this RDDM pathway. Um, the next one is different and that's it's an outcrosser and it actually showed a 93% decrease. And then finally, the polyploid showed a 25% decrease. So there was a small difference between that top line and the, and the bottom species um, in that the polyploid showed a little bit bigger of a reduction. Um, but the thing that we care about is that the outcrosser showed a 93% seed reduction, which was much bigger than any of the inbreeders. Um, so basically that leads us to believe that RDDM is playing a bigger role in mediating conflict um, between maternal and paternal genomes, um, or between mom and dad, rather than between uh, the multiple subgenomes of polyploid species even though it's, it still looks like it is playing a role between the subgenomes, uh, the bigger difference is between mom and dad. And that's where we're at so far with the project. Uh, so thanks to the Boston Lab and thanks for listening.